It's the last day of Hat Week! Don't worry, there will be more hats. But this concludes our five-day stint of hat wearing. Hey guys, I'm Michaela Jill Murphy, and welcome to episode 16 of Tea Time with Toph, where I, the original voice of Toph Beifong, am going through the animated series Avatar The Last Airbender uh, as a lead-up to the live-action premiere on Netflix at the end of February. So come along with us. All right, book one, episode 16, The Deserter. So, okay, I'm gonna give some reasoning for the hat here. I read the description. Today's tea is a flaming fire flakes, cinnamon chewy black tea. Now, we are still in book one. We're still in water. We're dealing with Aang, who's an airbender. So we're dealing with water, air, and fire. So when I looked in my closet, I kind of felt like, you know, this was like a good mix. We've got, we've got a little bit of like, maybe the pink could kind of be diluted fire, you know, like chewy flaky. We have, we have the clear, you know, kind of air. We've got some blue, you know, for the water. So I just figured this was like a nice harmony of all three. So that's how we're rounding out Hat Week with a beautiful trifecta. If you would like to grab a cup of tea or watch along, feel free. I'm gonna go ahead and start the episode. Momo! We love an episode that starts with Momo. Any episode that starts with Momo or Appa, gonna be a good episode. Jugglers, vendors, magicians. All sorts of fun things. Great place. What an exciting event to go to. Look at this. Hey, a poster of me. A wanted poster. A wanted poster? Uh, perhaps, perhaps are you a runaway? <gasps> oh, hint, hint. Just kidding. If, if, if you get it, if you get it, great. If you don't, you will. Let's get into today's tea. Okay, so book one, episode 16, The Deserter, Flaming Fire Flakes, Cinnamon Chili Black Tea. Flavor profile is smoked black tea, cinnamon, ginger, chili, and safflower. 212 degree preparation, five minutes steep. All right, let's give this a little sniff, see what we're dealing with today. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> I'm so excited. This smells exactly like this festival looks right now. There's a little bit of like a smoky burnt, I think burnt, we need some new disguises. You know, probably chilly Where are we situation get happening. Like that? But it's also refreshing, kind of exciting. Okay, I don't know if you can see what's going on in here. There's a lot of different things in here. I feel like it's very hard to see because the reflection but there's a, there's a lot of different types of leaf and dried dried things in here. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Oh, careful. Careful, my dude. Flaming fireflakes. Duh. I love the masks they have at this festival. They're all very beautiful, like very well done. The whole Avatar universe is very artistic and creative. I, we could use some more of that in our world, couldn't we? All right, let's go ahead and pour this in. There we go, make sure everything's covered. We're gonna steep this for five minutes. Let's give her some oh, encouragement. Don't do this. Why did they go to the front of the crowd? Just stand in the back, stand in the middle. Why are we going to the front? Oh my gosh, I can smell this from here. Wow, the chili flakes are like so aromatic. Wow, I can just, that's, that's flowing into the air. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be wild. This is probably gonna be the most wild flavor profile for me, because I feel like I drink a lot of tea, but I don't really do spicy too often, so the chili flakes are gonna be an interesting addition, for sure. Wow, that fire dragon? It's too strong. I can't it's crazy. Hold it. We gotta help her. No, no, don't do it, don't, don't do it. Don't bend. No, 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 and he was gonna do, ah, oh, yeah. Hey, you trying to upstage me, kid? Yikes. Yeah, that was kind of part of the show. Oh, this dancing. <laughs> I feel like that's how I dance when I'm out. If I'm ever out, like at a, at a club or a bar these days, I feel like I just like, dunka dunka dunka. <laughs> okay, a quick description of this flavor profile for today. Okay, this episode explodes with an exploration into Fire Nation culture, as we've seen. The insight we receive feels almost invasive as this information has thus far been secretive or even elusive. While we enjoy the festivities, we also can recognize the tyranny that the Fire Nation carries. Zhang Zhang, it's Zhang Zhang, right? Encompasses this disturbed feeling as though we too, like Aang, shouldn't have encountered him at this moment. Aang's naive impatience is examined and met with fiery discipline. This episode really shows us to examine ourselves and be patient before acting out with our emotions. You know, I think we're all guilty of acting out with our emotions. Um, 
I'm a pretty emotional person. I don't know about y'all. Feel free to share below in the comments. I would say on a scale of like one being completely ambivalent, don't care, to 10, like caring about every single instance and detail and thing, I'm probably an 8.5, maybe a nine in certain settings. I feel like it just depends. So this year has been a lot of learning um, about how to process before reacting to stuff. It's hard. I feel like it's hard when you're a really emotional person and you care a lot. Like I care about so many little details, like somebody's body language, uh, the, the details of like a hair strand, uh, I just, like a zipper placement, just so much little detail that like I really care about. And obviously people's tone of voice, how they react to me, their eye contact. Anyway, back to the episode. Firebending genius. Some say he's mad. This but guy's voice is pretty cool too. He's I feel like it's a little bit of a like a jet mix with Dante. I don't know. It's it's cool. It's like a slight husk, but like there's a little bit more of like an older dude. He's not too broy. That's why I followed you into the festival. Look, where did for this guy come from? Leaving for the North Pole you... in the morning. Stop. How did you know that the Avatar? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna stop asking. Okay, just gonna watch. Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Speaking of uh, acting from your emotions, <laughs> that festival did look fun though. Kind of want to go. Kind of want to go. He's a great man. Great man. <laughs> he sounds like he's going to see a very toxic boss. <laughs> he's a great guy. Great guy. Super great. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're going after the Avatar. I feel like the Fire Nation is just so, <sighs> so dramatic. This first season, you know, book one, that everybody's just. We're doing this. Ready the boats. We're going after the Avatar. Your honor is is dead. I am important. Everyone talks like this. Why are you drinking tea? Shut the door. Okay, I'm done. Everyone just seems so intense in the Fire Nation. Says me, a fire sign. I'm fiery. I get it. But like, also, relax. Just be like, yo, ready the boats. Let's go get them. Get out. <laughs> You know, I understand, dude. He's like, please Master, leave. <laughs> I need to learn fire. Feel that. Just like, leave me alone. <laughs> if a fish lives its whole life in this river, does he know the river's destiny? No. Only that it runs on and on out of his control. Zhang Zhang is, is follow where it flows. also spicy. Like this tea is probably going to be. Speaking of, let's take out our our steep here. Let it cool down for another minute or so. To master the bending disciplines. You must first master discipline itself. This is true. Mastering discipline itself, I feel like, is the first step to, like, mastering anything else. Which we all, again, we all can work on. Um, but yeah, you can't really achieve anything without discipline itself. But fire will spread and destroy everything in its path if one does yeah. not have the will to control it. Yeah, fire is, is really destiny. the most you are not ready. destructive. I don't know why. I don't weak? know. I don't know why he's so angry, but uh, yeah, it's true. You know, you have to move a rock yourself. You have to move the water yourself. Water is very cooling. Earth is very steady. Fire is wild, unpredictable, and it can spread without you controlling it. I mean, I guess technically so can water, but it usually gets absorbed or, you know, isn't as destructive as, as fire. I will teach you. Really? That's great. <laughs> he's like, oh, I just talked to this very wizened avatar and then... <laughs> Flashback, back to the 12 year old. <laughs> That's great. Wider. Yeah, get deep. Bend a deep plie. No deep ballet for Twinkle Toes. What do I do now? Silence. You wait Talking there. Is not All right, let's uh, let's try our chili flake tea here. Cinnamon chili black tea. Crazy, okay. Woo, okay. Whoa. That's a spicy tea. I mean, it, it's palatable. It's not like crazy, but that has a little kick. Those chili flakes in there are crazy. I've never had a tea like this before. Oh, I can feel it in the back of my throat. Oh, ooh, spicy. Smoked black tea, cinnamon, ginger, chili, safflower. I feel like the ginger too. The ginger is definitely gonna like kick in with, with the chili flakes a little bit. And the cinnamon as well. Wow, this is a fascinating tea. Tea Cozy, this, this blend is super cool. I've never had anything quite like this before. Very fitting for Aang, like I learning uh, firebending, like he is right now, because also it needs a little bit of a burn. An unintended burn, perhaps? Perhaps? We are going to work with fire now. Oh, yeah. But in order to beat the evil, you still have to become efficient in using the tools 
that aid the evil. It's a tricky balance, man. It's tricky. Concentrate on your leaf. This is the worst firebender. Concentrate on your leaf. <laughs> that, that, I feel like I just want to give my kids leaves. Like whenever they're like trying to be, I don't know, entertained by something, I'll just give them a bunch of leaves. And they're like, hey, what's happening? Concentrate on your leaf. Here we go. Oh. I did it. I need fire. Uh oh. Aang, that's great, but you should take it slow. Oh dear. Ooh, careful. Oh dear. Ah! Now that's firebending. Uh oh. Oh no. Aang, you'll be hurt careful, yourself. Be careful, be careful. Oh do I? Oh no no no. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah! Katara! Ow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Katara, what's wrong? Oof. What did you do? Older brother instincts kicking in. I told you we shouldn't mess around. Yeah, throw him down, Sokka. I feel you on this one. You burned my sister. It's tough growing up, learning all these lessons. You hurt people along the way. Is it unavoidable? Is it a canon event that like you you have to hurt people in order to grow up? I feel like the answer is yes. Is there anyone who thinks it's no? Cool him down, girlfriend. I know that you're flustered, but cool him down. You got this. Ow. Surprise, surprise! Look who has some extra powers. Ooh hoo hoo! But fire brings only destruction and pain. Hmm. It forces those of us burdened with its care to walk a razor's edge between humanity and savagery. That's a bold statement to say that fire only brings destruction and pain. I mean, he's not wrong, but yeah, what's the upside of fire? Master meets student. A reunion. Look at look at this beautiful reunion. Wall of fire. How lovely. I'm never gonna firebend again. You'll have to right, eventually. Well, that's, yes, you kind of no, have to, my dear. Never dude. again. The sentiment is appreciated, but you're... Well, wait, does he have to? I guess a little bit, in order to defend himself, right? To redirect fire? Shouldn't he firebend a little bit? Or does he just need to airbend? <laughs> this guy knows how powerful he is. See, Aang, Zhang Zhang didn't need you, but that's okay. Showed you what a firebender is truly capable of. What? Death and destruction? Whoa, wild shot! I'll show you wild! Ah. I also think it's a little laughable that this fully grown adult man is like fighting this 12 year old and thinking that like he's cool doing it. He's not. Sloppy. Very sloppy. Smart though. Dang is smart. Risky, but smart. Are you crazy? You haven't thrown a single blow. Ha. No, but you have. And now your fleet is burning and sinking to the bottom Zhang of Zhang the water. Oof. Angry. I would not want to date him. Hey, where'd everybody go? Very funny, guys. Love this guy. Hey, where did everybody go? Mm hmm He knows. Zhao knows. He's like, yeah, I kind of effed that up. Let me help you. I'm assuming that Katara's burns hurt extra because they were where she bends from. So specifically her hands are probably extra sensitive, right? And since it was on like Aang's arm, he just didn't notice as much or maybe didn't hurt as much or maybe since he's the Avatar, I don't know. He like wasn't freaking out about it. I guess he was in battle though. And so concludes episode 16, The Deserter, where Master Zhang Zhang starts to teach Aang firebending and we learn a lot about uh, discipline and self-control, both emotionally and, I guess, in bending. All right, we got a little bit left of this this chili cinnamon ginger situation happening in this cup. That is so good and so different. Oh my gosh, love this. Well, this turned out to be a fun little hat week uh, that I was not planning on, but <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed the addition of the hats. I'm definitely gonna look ahead and start trying to, I don't know, theme my outfits and accessories maybe a little bit to uh, to what the episode is going to bring. We'll see. It's a lot of episodes left, which means it's a lot of outfit changes. Hopefully I can keep up. All right, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.